Hello guys, back for episode 5 of the Pokemon Start walkthrough. And last time, we just got the Dash Engine. Yes. And Professor Oak told us about the Pokemon signs. Even though I've already explained all that to you guys. Oak crashed into a Pidgey, great. And the Dash Engine just makes you go out a little bit faster. Well, actually quite a lot faster. So much better. And we should be getting the Poke Flute right after we do this. And as I already told you, the first Pokemon sign, right there. And if you missed only Pokemon the first two times around, you can just go straight ahead and do it. But I have got all the Pokemon in this level, so I will just quick course. One picture has been taken. And as you can see, it's quite clearly a Kingler. Professor Oaks checks, and you did not get points for Pokemon signs. He just says, this is the Pokemon sign I've been looking for. Wait, Todd, let's return to the lab, and here we should get the Poke Flute. Welcome, Welcome back. You take pictures at a good pace to make it work easier for you. Here is a present. It will come in handy. Would you like to see rare poses? Play the Pokemon Flute. All you have to do is press the Dune button, and you can play two, toon, two tunes on the Pokemon flute and the base map Pokemon D, different stuff. Not every Pokemon will react to the Poke flute, as you'll see, like this Pikachu here. It just is absolute nothing because he just does not care about anything. But never mind, we shall continue. Let's see. That's the first time I've ever been a Hida like the buzz. Most of us got lucky. Oh well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that we had Dash Engine and Ab, we can maybe get a better photo of these if we didn't go too fast. If you ask me, that's probably, probably got to be a better photo. And as I mentioned the last time we went through the level, Zapdos is here. And now that we hear the polka flute, we can, in fact, get Zapdos. Choo. And as you can see, Pikachu's electric helps hatch Zapdos's egg. You want to attack a photo of Zapdos? Zapdos will then go in this machine here and power up the cave. It's probably quite a horrible photo of Zapdos, but never mind. I've already showed you guys how to get Doug Trio. And now that I like the buzz, are facing forward. You have a chance to get a better picture if they will follow your Pokemon food. Which they should. Well, one. Haha, <laughs> never mind. I've got a good photo. I like the buzz. And right here is your second Pokemon sign. And we will also be encountering. Another new Pokemon. There you see, that's how you get a picture of Magnite. And the thing you want to do is chuck apples until the three of them are fairly close to each other. Play the Pokemon flute. And then, as you could probably tell, they did just evolve. Right, I need them to turn around. Get a good photo of them, brilliant. And would I even have to wait until the, we get through the goal gate? We can just quit the course. Because it still saves your pictures for you. It's quite handy. Electabuzz. We'll go for that photo. Hmm. I'm not sure if this will actually be better photos. Ah, well. We'll just have to try and see. And we got Zapdos. I never really got a good photo of Zapdos. But, oh well. Here you hear your Pokemon sign. New Infit is a horrible photo, and Magneton. I do not understand how Magneton can weigh 60 kilograms, and yet when it's de-evolved, it can only weigh 6. Max no sense. Well, that's according to the Pokemon 2002 annual, anyway. Oh. Oh, now the last photo was better. Unlucky. Wonderful. 
now we have to just go straight on to the next level and get the other Pokemon sign, Volcano. And we shall also meet our new Pokemon. What you want to do is try and chuck past our balls and air if you can. Oh, here you go. I can't, it looks really ugly, but <laughs> it's a ghastly. In fact, that's a lie. It's not a ghastly at all. I just remembered it's a coffin. I just said ghastly because it looks like a ghastly. <laughs> And you can just zoom right past here. I will also show you guys how to get an awesome picture of Charmander. For you can get a, a brilliant score. What you want to do is just leave the egg alone for a new. Chuck some apples. And then, as we figured out last time, the Charmander shout another buddies. And they just keep coming. And you want to make sure that you get as much Charmander as possible. You want you to make sure that they're all front and centre. And then, once you hear them all close, play the Pokemon flute and they're just like, wrong neighbourhood, motherfucker. <laughs> and you should manage to get a brilliant score for all that. And... Whoa, Moltres. Here we go. And that should be a better picture of Magmar than Ian and I got last time. Now, unfortunately, as comes down to a bit of luck here. What you have to do is chuck pester balls in here, and oh, very lucky, we got an Arcanine. It will be either an Arcanine or a Growlithe that jumps out. More than often, a grow two Arc. Okay, I've never had two in a row before. I need a Growlithe now though. Oh, I got, oh, Growlithe, brilliant. Now let's see if we can get a group photo maybe? No, I'm too far away for that in. Oh well, never mind. Still brilliant. And uh, uh, is that we need to do in this course? Uh, yes, yes, Professor Oak. Right, straight on to river. What you want to do is just right here, the sleeping via plume, use a polka flute, get a good picture of the via plume, and then right here is your Pokemon sign. It's not very clear what Pokemon it is for at, but here is it straight on, and as you can probably see a little better now, it is a Cubone. With these results in the Pokemon report, if you collect all the Pokemon signs, you will be able to enter the secret course. Right, let's head right into the cave, and we will be meeting new Pokemon, getting our Pokemon sign, and even meeting a legendary. So, all is good. And here, you had Grimer, and I will show you how to get Muck in this level. I think Abdi should just leave a comment spelling muck backwards. Haha, <laughs> joking. Little Pokemon joke. I'm sure most of you guys can't add already though. And here is your best bet to get a muck. What you need to do is chuck about three pester balls and then it should evolve into a muck. Whoa! Big ugly pile of, well, muck. Or sludge or whatever you want to cut. Either way, it just looks horrible. I, Muck gets a lot of criticism for the Pokemon, the Pokemon community, for looking horrible. But I don't see why they're packing that. I mean, I think Victory Bell just looks absolutely horrible. But that's my opinion, and I guess each to their own. Speaking of Victory Bell, here we go. Smack an apple off us, even though I just missed. Maybe we shall get it here. 
Okay, never mind that then. We'll turn around and get the Pokemon sign. Which is there. Okay, I was about to say, which is not showing up. But no, it is there. Oh, there we go. Sorry. And I am just doing that because I cannot remember if I got a picture last time or not. Whoa, Victory Bell. I just think it, I think it looks ugly. But, <clears throat> are Pokemon meant to look beautiful? I duck in. Well, I suppose Jinx, maybe. Since it is a human-shaped Pokemon. And, I kind of said before that I thought Jinx had black faceness, And she does not actually. But, I did not think it was blackface anyway. I think it was just a cho choice on Nintendo or whatever. And then, it people ended up classing it as racist that okay I can see how it got mixed up but to be honest I just didn't think Nintendo or Game Freak or the Pokemon Incorporated would ever do that. I could be wrong though. I do believe they actually got sued for that. Here we have picture of Muck. It's our other new Pokemon. And sign? Hmm. I'll go for that. And as you can clearly see, that is a Mewtwo. Oh, I did get a picture of Victory Bell last time. Oh well, maybe it will be a better picture. And Jinx, you will definitely need a better photo last time, because last time we just couldn't get a good photo. Welcome back. Welcome back. Go to course. <laughs> right, let's just jump straight into the valley. And boom, right there is your Pokemon sign. Come back. You finally got all the Pokemon signs. Finally? It didn't even take us 20 minutes. Come on. Hmm. After looking at these six pictures, I noticed that the signs are just like the. Haha. <laughs> you try and read that. Collisions that can be found from Pokemon Island. That's the key to the mystery. It'll make sense. It's in the sky. Rainbow Cloud floating in the sky is a secret course. Someone in the clouds must have created Pokemon signs. I have made a new path to the rainbow cloud. This could prove a very important Pokemon research. Good luck, Todd. And I will leave the rainbow cloud until next episode. Looking forward to seeing you and looking forward to seeing you guys next time.